And guess what happened? From that season of darkness, from that season of chaos, from that season of rest, came a mighty explosion. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, um, I have some questions about social interactions. Number one, during conversations, my mind will go completely blank and I'll also get like short-term memory loss. Someone's speaking and I wanna respond, but then when I speak, I forgot what I wanna say. Number two, when I'm in a group setting, I find it difficult to know when to interject and to speak in a group conversation. Um, I'll often begin speaking at the same time as someone else, or I won't get to get be heard. And then finally, something I've been dealing with for some time is jumbling and slurring my words. I usually think and speak too fast. I feel like it's something going on to interrupt me uh, so I need to get to my point real quickly, or I just don't want to drag on my point for too long, so I'll try to say it really quickly. So it sounds like this is something that's kind of like new to you, and I think that's what you're getting at right now. This is kind of like just kind of uh, showing itself to you. And what I want you to do is just use this as an opportunity. Look, look, I've said this before, and I think it's really important for us to remember that life happens in seasons, right? And you're gonna be a certain way for a certain season and then that's gonna change. And there are certain se seasons of chaos and there are certain seasons of order in our life, right? There are certain seasons where you, old you is being broken down and there are certain seasons where you're clicking as the new you. You gotta understand this, this, this dance between breakdown and build up, chaos and order, throughout all of life but also in your in your uh, throughout all of life but also in your personal evolution and a lot of times I've had these experiences as well as you're dealing with as well where I want to be who I have been in the past or I want to be what I can what I see in my mind I can be but none of them are are based in reality because right now I'm something else and so when you find that you're something that you don't want to be or you're something different than what your imagination gives you or something different than you were in the past, it's usually a good time to stop and listen. It's usually a good time to be still and allow. It's usually a good time to go dark like you're experiencing right now. And even in my life, right, like people who have been following me for a long time, they know that there was a dark period for Elliot. There was a time I went dark. And I could have resisted it, and I did. I resisted it to agree, and I had some judgment about it because I just wanted to be light again. I wanted to be who I was before, and I couldn't suffer the loss of my old ego and the breakdown and this confusion that I was going through as a man that, like, how am I not, why am I not on my game anymore? And it sounds like you're not on your game, and that could be frustrating. But if you just allow yourself to be in this season where you are and recognize that, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm being asked to listen more. Maybe I'm being asked to speak less, right? That's what happened to me, right? That's why I didn't make many, many videos. I was being asked to not speak so much because I speak a lot. God was asking me, hey, why don't you listen a little bit more? Sharpen your other skills. Sharpen your other, um, your other senses, right? This is... Have you ever, there was an old Chinese like Kung Fu movie I used to watch when I was a kid, right? My brother had it on VHS and we watched it sometimes. And it was called the, um, the Crippled Avengers. And each one of these guys, they were crippled in some way. They would have, uh, one guy was like blind, one guy was deaf, one guy was like, uh, you know, he had like no arms or something like that. And each one of those guys that had that lack, they were sharper in other areas. And right now you're recognizing a lack. You recognize a lack in yourself. But it also gives you an opportunity to become sharper in another place. You say that when someone's speaking, I have a lot of things to say in response, right? You say you have a lot of things to say in response, but how about you just listening? Maybe a part of the reason why you get confused is because you're too busy in your head. And I know that's a part of the problem, Ali, because you're a smart guy. You're way up in your head a lot of times and you get so wrapped up in your head that you choke. You know when an athlete chokes is because he's thinking too much. And when you're choking because you're thinking too much, so what I'm inviting you to do is to do the opposite. Don't have anything clever to say. Don't have anything to offer in the in realm of conversation. Listen, listen, listen. Be quiet, be quiet. Just listen. Did you know that the person who listens and asks 
the best questions is the controller of the conversation. People think that the guy who talks the loudest, talks the most, talks the fastest is leading the conversation, but that's not usually the case. It's usually the guy that's listening. It's usually the guy that's going, hmm, that's interesting. Tell me more. Hmm, how about this? Asking questions. This is called pivoting, right? Like when, when what we want to have happen isn't going our way, we could try to get it back. We could try to fight against it. We could resist where we're at or we could pivot. We could strengthen a different quality that we didn't consider at the time. The, the, the crippled Avenger, right? One of them, he was blind, right? So he could be, he could lament about being blind. Man, I wish I had my sight back. I wish I could see, man. It was so nice when I used to be able to see, man, and I'm upset about this and I got to do something to get my eyesight back. But you know what he did instead? He started using his hearing ability better. And because this guy couldn't see, he didn't worry about not being able to see. He would just be very still and he would listen. And he could hear shit like coming from a mile away, right? He had, he had hyper hearing ability. So your speaking ability is taking a little, it's taking a little break right now. I don't think it's gone forever. I don't think it's gone away forever. You mentioned that maybe smoking weed when you were a teenager maybe have, may, may have caused that. Maybe it did, but you can recover from that. You may also, look, you know, and I'm throwing a whole lot of shit out there, like you might have like toxic overload. There may be, you might have mold in your house, right? Until you discover that there's nothing you could do about it, right? I will go look into that. See if there's mold in your house. See if there's some kind of toxic overload in your blood. See if you have like too much mercury from your fillings in your mouth. Do stuff to check your health out, right? I'm not saying just be content with being dumb. I'm saying don't resist it, but at the same time, start strengthening other areas that you can bring up. Right now might be the time for you to shut up, just like it was for you. Oh, Uncle E between 2017, 18 and 19, right? Even longer. It was time for me to shut up. It was time for me to listen. And guess what happened? From that season of darkness, from that season of chaos, from that season of rest, came a mighty explosion that put me on a scene where I am right now. And the same thing's gonna happen for you. Let yourself rest, let yourself be. Don't judge yourself. Shut up for a season and before you know it, you're going to be spitting better than you've ever spit before in your life. Take that break. It'll do you good. I'm done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.